Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel. Today guys, I'm doing paid review 23QA43 quick wristwatch check and I'm wearing a Reverso Grand Date. I'm just trialing it for a couple of weeks before I decide whether to pull the trigger. This here is for is for Malik. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Dear Paul, I hope this email finds you well. Uh, my name is Malik and I'm based in Sydney. I recently turned 46 and work in IT. Have been following your YouTube channel on watches for a while. I think you're the go-to guy for no-nonsense opinion on watches. One of my favorites is your meltdown over someone that was asking for your opinion on his long jeans watch. It's garbage! I've been through some significant mental health struggles lately, but I'm slowly coming out the other side. I'm also a full-time carer to my severely disabled daughter. As you might imagine, life can be quite challenging at times. I've always wanted to purchase a luxury watch, and I've decided to take the plunge. I bought a Hamilton car key at the start of the year and it just has not scratched the itch. It's garbage. I'm interested in a discount diver and my budget is around $5,000. With that budget, I'm looking at pre-owned. I'm considering the Tudor Black Bay 41 or the new Breitling Super Ocean 42, not the Heritage. But I'm happy to take your advice if you think there is something else I should look at. If I could get the Rolex Submariner at retail, I would stretch myself. I've been browsing the second-hand market and found some interesting examples of either watch for around four and a half thousand. However, I'm not sure where to purchase from and if they're legit. As an example, I found a Breitling at a place called Watch Connect in Sydney, but I have no idea how or if they authenticate their watches or if I should just do that myself. Um, I was hoping you could provide some guidance. Uh, number one, what should I buy? Two, where should I buy? And three, what should I look out for? I've sent you some money via PayPal as a token of appreciation for your help uh, that you could offer. Thanks for taking the time to read my email. I'm looking forward to hearing back from you. And he sent me some, some, uh, some watches here. Now, i got to tell you, uh, discount divers, um, you know, this is an interesting question. You want a decent watch? This is in Australian dollars, four and a half to five thousand dollars. You know what? You're going to get something really nice. And I would have to say, the two, two watches he inquired about was a Tudor Black Bay 41, and the second one was a Breitling Super Ocean. Now, I got to tell you, um, the dealer you mentioned in Sydney for the Tudor, I've never actually dealt with them. I would probably recommend Luxuria, Luxuria, uh, in the QVB building. He has some really good, bright, so really nice Tudors. Just say to him, hey, you know Archie Luxury, he sent me here, can you do a good deal? Just be honest. Be honest and see, just say, hey, this is my first luxury watch. I don't have a lot of money. Just just explain it with your daughter. Just explain what you, you want a decent watch and see what they can do for you. That's what I would be doing. Um, basically, if these watches, these watch dealers here, um, the other one was Watch Connect. I actually have... A good friend of mine who's bought watches from them. They seem to be quite legit. So I wouldn't have a problem with Watch Connect. Or uh, the other one was Luxuria. And the other one is Vintage Watch Co. In the Strand Arcade. So that's, that's some recommendations. I would definitely, definitely buy pre-owned. You're really going to save money doing that. Um... That is what, and you, i got to be honest with you, a Tudor or a Breitling, it's funny, I actually like the Super Ocean, that's the Breitling Super Ocean 42, the reference A173, 
375. I think that's a beautiful watch. I think it is sexy. And I think that is a really good luxury watch. Uh, the reference number A17, so that's not, not AB, so that means it's not the in-house movement. But you know what? That's still a very beautiful watch. I would have no problems grabbing the Breitling. The Tudor, the Tudor, the Tudor would also be a great buy. Tudor Black Bay 41, definitely. I would certainly, um, that's something I think no problems at all pulling the trigger on. That is a very, very nice piece to have. And um, hey, I think that could be a great watch. So um, I've got to be honest with you, I think they're both pretty good. I think the Tudor, probably, I would probably swing more towards the Tudor. I think the Tudor, the Breitling is a great watch. They're both, I think they're both decent watches. Both very good entry-level luxury watches. Um, it's, it's, they're not cheap. 5000 bucks is not cheap. Um, but the, both of those are very decent. And I think that would be a fabulous start to your watch journey. So, I think both of those, if I had to pick one, you know, I actually, I, I was just saying to myself, go for the Tudor, go for the Tudor. But then I look at the Breitling and thinking, go for the Breitling. They're both very, very good watches. Um, I like the Tudor and I, I love, I love both of them, okay? I've got to be totally honest with you. Now, you asked me the question, what should I buy? I think the Tudor and the Breitling both are very, very decent. Where to buy from? Look, that dealer I've never dealt with, it's called Halewood Peters. I've never dealt with him, but Watch Connect, um, I've heard good things. Luxuria in the, QV, in, in the Queen Victoria building and Vintage Watch Co. in the Strand Arcade. That's some really good dealers in Sydney. What to look out for? Basically, I just want a nice example. You want a nice example. All of these watches here are fairly modern. You want to try and get box papers. Uh, get one that you really love. And I think you will be happy. Those are some... That's a, that, those two choices are actually really cool watches. I think there's probably more... You're probably going to get more off the Tudor's than on the Breitling. The Breitlings, um, that's, those are fairly new models. Um, I, I definitely see what deal you can get there. I think the Tudor might be the best way to go. The other Tudor to, to consider is the Tudor Black Bay 58, which is slightly smaller, 39 mils. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, but hey, those two watches you've mentioned there, absolutely fantastic choice. I think that would very nicely scratch the itch for a beautiful uh, wristwatch. I got no qualms with either of those two. They're both very, very good choices. I suppose I'm probably, you know, both of them. Breitling, I think Breitling makes great watches. Tudor makes great watches. They're both very, very good watches. Uh, see which one you can get the best deal on and pull the trigger. No problems at all. Buying from a legitimate business in Sydney, they're not going to rip you off. Um, you know, that's you're protected under consumer laws and that there. So I, I would have to say to you, um, both of those are very good choices. I'm probably, probably you're going to get a slightly better price, I would suspect, on the Tudor because there's more of them in the marketplace. Tudors have gone a little bit soft, and I think just 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 be nice, be polite, and say, look, I'm I'm not, I don't have a lot of money. Just be, just tell them your story, and see how it goes. Because who can turn down the ability to help someone into this hobby? Who can turn that down? So, I would have to say to you, both of those are excellent choices. They are excellent watches. I think you'd be happy. Any mini money, they're both brilliant. So I, I'd say congratulations. Thank you for your kind words. And uh, I hope it works out for you. Let me know which one you choose. Guys, like, subscribe, and tell your friend. That's the review for today.
Uh, please put some comments down below. And please, guys, remember, I can't survive on Google Ads. I need more paid reviews to keep me full-time on YouTube. Without paid reviews, I can't survive. Paid reviews keep me full-time on the tubes. Keeps the content coming. And I love making videos. Look down below, 50 US dollars for a paid review, and I will see you in the next one. See you later, guys. Hi, guys. It's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please, guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David SW. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want. And it keeps me going on YouTube because guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small specialized area and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon, look down below, and I will see you in the next one.